Hi everybody, Teacher Rob here. Uh, today I want to discuss uh, land and water habitats. Uh, a habitat is a place where animals can live and find shelter, find food, reproduce. It's a place for the animals to live. Now today we have six kinds of habitats that I want to discuss with you. Before I get into the discussion, I want to remind everybody, click on the subscribe button, hit like on my videos, and turn on the alarm bell for updates every time I put a new video. More subscribers means better for me, okay? Thank you. Okay, so the first type of uh, land habitat I want to, to talk about is a wetland. Now a wetland is a water habitat. Um, you can hear from the name wetland. So a wetland is a kind of land where the, the groundwater doesn't really drain very well. So the water sits on top. Um, there'll be lots of water all over the wetland. Now there are many different kinds of wetland, like a swamp is a wetland, a marsh is a wetland, a bog is a wetland. Now what kind of animals live in wetlands? Well, amphibious animals love wetlands. So we're talking about frogs, maybe salamanders, animals that can live in both the water and the land. Okay, so frogs live in wetlands. We also have animals like beavers. Beavers, also they like water. They build dams on the water. So beavers also will live in the wetland. Um, because there's so much water around, of course there are fish. Fish in the wetland. And ducks, because ducks love to swim on the little lakes or ponds or streams or rivers or whatever. So uh, the four animals I want to discuss are Frogs, beavers, fish, and ducks. And they all live in the wetland habitat. So the next kind of habitat I want to talk about is a desert habitat. Now, desert habitats are all dry, dry land. Um, it can be very hot in the desert. But also it can be very cold at night in the desert as well. And the desert is covered with sand, lots of sand. Now animals that live in the de desert, they actually can go a long time without water. Okay? They, their bodies are equipped to absorb water for a long time. Now a lot of animals will also hide under the sand to stay out of the hot, hot sun in the desert. Uh, what kind of animals live in the deserts? Well, vultures. Vultures are birds, and these vultures are birds that like to prey on other animals that are already dead. So in the desert, because it's so hot, there's a lot of animals that just die in the desert of not enough food or too much heat. And vultures will prey on them, they will go to eat them. Um, also scorpions. Scorpions like to live in the desert. They will crawl under the sand to hide. Okay, so scorpions. Camels live in the desert. Now camels can go a long time without water. They store water in the humps on their back. They live in the desert as well. And also armadillo. An armadillo will also live in the desert. So these are the four animals that live in the desert habitat. The next habitat I want to talk about is the uh, I didn't bring an umbrella. The rainforest habitat. <sighs> you can hear from the name rainforest. Well, it rains a lot in the rainforest. So in the rainforest habitats, they're very wet. It rains a lot. Now, trees in the rainforest habitat can grow very, very tall. Why is this? Because they're competing for sunlight. They want to get the sunlight. Now in order for trees to get the sunlight, they have to grow very, very, very tall. So trees in the rainforest can be very, very tall, okay? And the rainforests are very wet because it's always raining. Now, what kind of animals live in the rainforest? Well, 
<laughs> monkeys live in the rainforest. Okay, you can see monkeys climbing the trees in the rainforest. Now we also have tigers. Tigers will live in the rainforest as well. Okay, so monkeys, tigers, jaguars. Jaguars will live in the rainforest as well. And we also have uh, beautiful birds like parrots. Colorful, colorful parrots will fly into the trees in the rainforests. So those are the four animals we're going to discuss for rainforest. Monkey, tiger, jaguar, and parrot. And they all live in rainforest habitats. Okay, so the next habitat we want to talk about is the woodland habitat. And again, in the name, you can kind of, just from hearing it, figure out or think about what it looks like. A woodland habitat is full of wood, of course. Now, where does wood come from? It comes from trees. So a woodland habitat has many, many, many trees. Now, the difference between woodland and a forest, like a rainforest, is the forest, the trees will be closer together. In the woodland, there's a little bit of open space. Now, because of the open space, light can actually come into the woodland. Whereas in a forest, down on the ground, it can actually sometimes be pretty dark because the light has trouble getting through all the trees because they're so close together. Now, animals that live in the woodland forest are animals that will live in trees, climb trees, keep, keep their shelter in a tree, because there's trees everywhere. Now, what kind of animals are we looking at? We're looking at big ones, like a bear. Bears live in the woodland habitat. We're also looking at deer. Deer. Deer also live in the woodland habitat. Uh, rabbits. Rabbits will live in the woodland habitat. And fox. Foxes will live in the woodland habitat as well. So these are four of the woodland habitat animals. Okay, time to get scuba diving gear for this one. Our next habitat is the ocean habitat. Now the ocean habitat, of course, is under the water. Okay, it's the oceans of the world. Now the oceans of the world are filled with salt water. You don't want to be drinking it. It's pretty yucky. Uh, there are five oceans on the world, in the world, Pacific Ocean, uh, Atlantic Ocean, Indian Ocean, Arctic Ocean, and Southern Ocean. Now these five oceans cover the world's water surface. Now 70% of the earth is actually covered with water. There's more water than there is land. So because of that, many of the world's animals live here in the ocean habitat. Now, of course, animals that live in the ocean habitat are animals that swim. So we're looking at, what four are we gonna look at now? Number one, clownfish. Clownfish will live in the ocean habitat. Nemo is a clownfish. Uh, jellyfish live in the ocean habitat. You don't wanna be stung by, stung by one of those. Uh, jellyfish are very beautiful, beautiful fish. Uh, seahorse. Seahorses live in the ocean habitat. And the one everyone's scared of, sharks. They live in the ocean habitat as well. Of course, there are many other animals that live here, but these are the four main ones we're going to talk about. So one more time, clownfish, jellyfish, seahorse, and sharks. They live in the ocean habitat. And the last habitat we're going to talk about today uh, is the polar habitat. Now the polar habitats are found on the top, north, or bottom, south of the earth, north pole, south pole. And they are cold, very, very cold. Uh, land in these parts of the earth are made of ice, ice. Now, very few plants grow here. There is a, a little bit like moss and some plants like that, but there's not really much plant life at all. It's 
too cold for plants to grow in the polar habitat. Now, because of that, the animals that live in the polar habitat are mostly carnivores. There's no plants to eat, so they're all meat-eating animals for the most part. Okay, now, um, animals that live in this part of the world, they have a lot of fat or feathers on their body to keep them warm in the cold temperatures out here. Okay, now what kind of animals can we find here in the polar habitat? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's look at the walrus. Walrus will live in the polar habitat. Walrus with its lo two long, long teeth. Oh, polar bears. Polar bears, of course, live in the polar habitat, hence the name polar bear. Okay? Um, seal. Seals will also live here in the polar habitat. Seals have a lot of fat in their body, so that's how they keep warm. And the cute animal everyone loves, penguins. Penguins also live here in the polar habitat. Okay, so the polar habitat, this cold area, uh, we have walrus, polar bears, seals, and penguins. These are the four animals we're going to say for our polar habitat. Now, I want to get out of here because it's just too cold. So, I'm going to stop the video there. I uh, hope everybody remembered the names of all the animals and the names of the habitats where they live and uh, some of the information about the habitats. Thank you, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go get another jacket. Uh...